good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the stack house. This footage is a continuation of the footage from last time, hence why I'm not standing still to do an intro, and we're getting straight into it by destroying the balcony. Yep, the ears I mentioned last episode are gone in favour of a bigger balcony which extends out the front. It's purely aesthetic, aesthetic, however you want to say that word. But also somewhat practical because the doors for the side would have looked weird and necessitated another stripe made of cracked stone bricks. But anyway, this is the staircase, obviously, which you may or may not have seen. And the uh, second floor, which is now full of actual floor. And a weird deck area on top of the mid section here. And I'm not sure if I'll put anything on this bit of the roof yet. I don't know. But there's going to be a whole roof section, but that's for later. Today, we're going to be focusing on the internal walls and the layout of the rooms inside. So, um, let's get into it. What I want to do is create like a cube within a cube, if you see what I mean. So that the rooms don't back onto the glass. There'll be two corridors running parallel either side of the rooms. Excuse me while I faff around with my video settings. I thought it was too dark. Turns out it wasn't. Anyway, back to the design. A cube within a cube. So, two corridors running parallel to each other and a sort of section in the middle where I can put rooms. That's essentially what we're going for here. And I'm faffing around quite a bit because the uh, corners were giving me uh, quite a few problems. In fact, this isn't the final iteration of the corners. This is just me sort of working out in my mind where I think the corridors will go. Because at the uh, junction between the small module and the me small module and the medium module, we of course pinch in one block, and the corridors have to do some kind of weird zigzag thing. And I wanted to avoid that. Hence, why you see me building a wall in the wrong place. Here, I'm just checking that if I can make the corridor go straight on. I can't. There's glass in the way. So, what's going on here then? In the end, I decided to destroy that section of the pillar because it was unnecessary, really. It didn't need to be there. And of course, this gives me slightly more leeway to work... Leeway? Did I say leeway? <laughs> um, slightly more room to work with inside. So the rooms are one block wider on each side. This seems a bit rambly because at this point in the build I kind of lost my way a bit. I wasn't I wasn't having any clear ideas. This bit here you see is going to stay the same but this bit here chopped and changed hugely. This, this went through about three iterations um, before I finally settled on my final design. Um, it's an even number unfortunately across so I can't put a single dividing wall down and here I'm just looking at the possibility of dividing into rooms sort of parallel to the glass, or the ice in this case. Um, but that wouldn't work because it would give rooms that are too long and narrow. Um, so I sat here and confused myself for about, I don't know, 20 minutes, um, before finally realising that maybe I could divide the rooms horizontally. But this didn't hold up either, because I'd have a house that was no longer symmetrical. I'd have a corridor on one side and sort of glass rooms, glass, I, I, I don't know how to say it, a whole wall of glass in another room, and the room on the end there would have two full rooms of glass, which, despite its uh, merits, is not very good for privacy, really. Although, actually, you see a lot of modern houses made with huge volumes of glass. I was looking at a concept the other day of a block of flats, completely unrelated, that was, um, almost totally glass, and I think, where's the privacy gone? Anyway, back to my build. I'll be, uh, ding, here we go. This is the um, final design. A sort of two corridor approach again turned out to be the best option. And here, just filling in the walls. This is what this episode's mostly going to be about, filling in walls and determining their design. You'll see what I mean by that in a minute. It's not as easy as sort of filling in the walls with this house because 
there are limited places where I can place lights, otherwise the ice will melt. Um, upstairs, um, I forgot I showed you this, because this, this footage is shot a day after the first section, so I'm doing a tour of the stuff I did a tour of at the beginning, which is entirely pointless. But anyway, um, I'm counting here, and again it's an even number, so the rooms are going to have to be slightly different. Not a big deal, because different rooms have different sizes, because they serve different purposes. So I'm thinking one of those is probably going to be either a bathroom or an office. But in the end, actually, the office is going to go here, in this space here, with the huge glass fronted at the end. Um, I've been talking non-stop for quite a while now. I've just eaten lunch. It's not going well. Anyway, I shall carry on. I shall persevere. So now, building up the walls, and I'll fill this in and do the ceiling and come back in just a minute. Ta-da! It's the end of the house. I forgot to add doors. Um, so I'm going with the same design I did for the other doors. Ice and whatever block is dominant at the time. Happens to be quartz at this end of the house. It was cracked stone brick earlier because of a design choice. Um, but yeah, I can't really say much about this. It's just doors, really. And hopefully, here I'm thinking of building like a garage or a driveway or something, but we'll see about that. We'll, we will see. But look, our walls are complete. The office has like a run through to both corridors because it needed it. This is going to be a bathroom and you see the problem here. It's very, very dark, but no problem because we can do this. We can punch holes in the wall and use the glass there as a window even though it's not in the room. It's a very strange design but not as strange as what I'm doing here which is placing half slabs instead of windows. Ultimately I decided not really appropriate for a bathroom and it's also slightly too dark as well so we went for a we I went for a more traditional sort of window setup where it's divided into horizontal blocks like so and that provided enough light there will be lights in this don't worry there will be a single light in the middle of the, each room and it's just a very effective way of lighting a room i put this window in the wrong place obviously windows have to be up high for a bathroom maximum privacy so yeah that was that room done and dusted a light will go in the middle there somewhere as i said before but now the bedrooms slightly more freedom to do what i want here um blocking up the wall initially because we have to now the initial idea here was to have like legit windows like this square but i changed my mind halfway through because i thought a bedroom is still somewhat private it's not as much as a bathroom say but it is still your own area um so i went with these sort of narrow vertical slit windows but I decided they didn't really fit with the rest of the house. The rest of the house is sort of elongated and horizontal. So I thought, you know what? Horizontal windows. And I did this. And I thought, yeah, this looks quite good. Before I finally realised that it looked like the flag of England when I went round the other side. And it, I'm not going to um, hate on the flag of England. I am English. But it looked a little bit silly. And so I tried some artistic design where I was going to stagger the windows um, and offset the top and the bottom by one block. Ultimately, this didn't work either because I didn't actually have enough space to do it. The walls were in the way and it looked very, very stupid. See, on the, on the right there, that's what it should have been. But on the left, it looked really silly. And so I stopped the recording, went away and came back with a much better design set. Here we can see horizontal windows all the way, looking much better and providing enough light for the room. See all the windows lined up there nicely, and the same on this side, except we have slabs. I really, really like this design. It looks really good from outside the house. It gives it sort of two layers of depth, but, um, Enough of that, um, 
onto the staircase. Now the staircase has a bit of a uh, unique problem because it's actually half embedded in the wall. So we can only really work with half of it, um, which is problematic as you will see later because I actually do a design which I really like, but I can't, I realized after I stopped the recording that I couldn't use it. This was just awful and it was generic and it didn't really do anything. Um, so I broke out the slabs and tried to go for a design similar to what was in the original modern build, Triple Apex. Um, messing around more here. But yeah, the stairs presented a really big problem because of um, that sort of half and half, half in the wall, half out the wall. It was really awkward. I, I went with this design in the end, but when I stopped the recording, I realised that it just wasn't going to work and I'm going to have to come up with an entirely new sort of design for this. So while I'm building this, I'd like to thank you for watching. Um, please check out some of my other builds I've done on this channel and I hope you have a nice day or night or whatever. Goodbye.